Hello, welcome. I am Tula. This is my platform, Tula's Tarot. Okay, Aries, this is your collective love reading, whether you have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, Mars, or Venus. For those of you that are cross watchers and involved with an Aries, or you are new to my platform, welcome. I'm an intuitive reader that loves incorporating the gifts I've had since childhood, which is sight, sound, and feeling, as well as different oracle decks, which do one of two things. One, they convey the same message excuse me, the same message that I or the tarot picks up on, or two, they give some insight into something that wasn't even seen or shown into the cards or what I picked up on, which is really beneficial for you. It just gives a broader picture and more messages for your reading. So I'm going to begin by putting aside the tarot cards and the romance angel cards and begin with the messages of love oracle cards. I'm going to pull the strongest energy surrounding your love life. Again, this is a collective Love reading for Aries. This is timeless, which basically means whenever you come across this reading and you happen to align with it, it's precisely when you were meant to. Not everything will resonate with you, so never make it fit into your story. And let me begin. Let's see what type. I'm um, sorry, I just got done reading Pisces. All right, so with Aries, let's see Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. Oh, interference. Oh my goodness, well, we just had to start off like this, didn't we? But I guess, Aries, you might be going through something. Let's see, forgiveness, oh my gosh. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Regret, okay, now if this is not heavy energy, I don't know what is. Clearly there was a betrayal. It could have been that this person betrayed you or you kind of slipped and betrayed the other person. But whatever the connection, I feel like this is really them. Someone came into play into your connection, a third party interference, um, someone that may have claimed to be their friend, but I don't know what happened, maybe a night of drinking or whatever, or just someone stepped out in a relationship. There is, it's problematic and it has caused such an upheaval, the distance that boundaries needed to be revisited and there's regret. They feel awful for the way that this came about. Now, I'm not saying a lot of them are going to ask for your forgiveness. Some of them, they feel regret, but they're just going to move forward with that person. Energetically, that's what I'm picking up. For others of you, and they feel regret and they're going to ask for forgiveness. Okay. So this is very, well, my readings are real and raw, but I mean, honestly, I, I, I was hoping not something so serious. So this is what you're going through Aries, isn't it? Very hard, very difficult, but you know what? You are strong and don't never forget who you are and what you're capable of and that you are worthy of a healthy, loving relationship. So let's see what it says for you. It says it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now I'm going to put this here because I feel like this might be a whole different energy altogether, which means another connection. Some of you are going to choose not to forgive this person. I, I'm just seeing that. Yep. Pay attention to the red flags. Even if you do forgive them, some of them are just, mm, there's still something very off. They might have deception. They might be controlling. I don't think they realize that the person, I don't think this person sees you in all you encompass. Your personality, your strength, your go-getter mentality. You love being in a commitment but because of their insecurities, they see it as very independent energy, which shame on them. They're lost, period. Oh, well. You need someone that'll see you for who you are. Mm, look at this flirt energy come in. I'm picking up new person. I'm picking up a new, er, new person. Keep an open mind. Okay, Aries, I know you're good for that. I know some of you are like, hey, I'm up for anything. But when you need to be. Oh, blew out with such energy. What does it say? You deserve love. Didn't I say you deserve a healthy kind of love? Yes, you do. Everybody does. But Aries, we're focusing on you, and Aries deserves love. You are lovable. Don't let this person manipulate you. You're very, you're a very strong character, I'm going to say. And, and uh, you pride yourself on who you are, how far you've come, all that you've achieved. You're a go-getter. You're you're you I don't even know if you have like you're a number one life path, or you you might even be a bit of a loner. So I don't know if you have like number seven or something as a life path it doesn't have to be but i also feel a lot of you have been forced to just be independent some of you are single parents others of you have just gone through a lot of things and so you just don't tolerate nonsense 
you might forgive this person, but I don't feel you're going to take them back. I just don't. This new person could be the one. Someone new is coming into the picture. And I'm going to leave it at that. I want to start, when it comes to the Romance Angel cards, I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to focus on this new love because I feel um, Aries, that they did damage and it's not your job to do damage control. They did damage to this connection. There are too many red flags that are popping up left and right now with them. I don't know what they're going through, if they're going through some kind of funk, whatever. But I don't feel like the love from their end was strong enough. They obviously didn't respect the connection with you. Okay? Especially stepping out with a third-party connection. Damn that. So that's what I'm picking up. So you will know at this point if this resonates with you and if you want to proceed in watching. But I'm going to start pulling um, energies on this new person for you. Aries, you deserve a new love. You deserve a new love. Let's see. I just want to shuffle thoroughly. I mean, I do in between my readings for different zodiac signs. I, I'll i use Palo, Palo Santo Palo, Palo Santo sticks. I don't know. I have my momentary. <laughs> I have my moments where I forget, but I use my little stick and I clear out the space. All right. So let's see. And I shuffle and I neutralize the energies. Okay. So Aries, this new love coming into Aries life. Give some insight into it. this new person coming into Aries. New love, new love coming into Aries. I feel some of you had had a reading done. Y'all are getting into this uh, metaphysical thing, aren't you? Okay, let me tell you this. You're not satisfied in your current situation. You're just not. And you shouldn't be forced to. You're leaving the situation. You're here getting your readings done. You're trying to get deeper insight. But trust your, intu your intuition. Um, you're really good at navigating life. It's not hard for you to navigate your heart. You deserve love, period. Okay, so I'm going to focus on this new person coming in, which I'm seeing strong earth and fire elements. We have here Leo. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. doesn't have to be. But this is someone who is solid, someone who earns good money, someone who doesn't spend frivolously, someone who likes to enjoy life as well. So there's a very healthy balance in their lifestyle. Let's see, this new love, focusing on this new love. I may have to pull a different deck. I know why you're being difficult. Okay, let's see, new love for Aries. This person, person can be very passionate with their speech. So if you decide to be a little fiery, which I know you can be, or cold with them, they, they will have a loving way of putting you in your place. And, and that'll add passion. This person does have a lot of responsibilities. It could be that they have child support, children they have to support, um, may travel at a distance. They could be at a distance from you. Look at this. Aries is the element of fire. Queen of Wands, element of fire. I feel this is your person, strong earth energy, or at least exhibiting earth, solid earth signs coming together. Some of you, it's going to be blended families. Oh, oh didn't I say y'all are going to have like some kind of passionate little tiffs, little arguments? This person's going to feel like home to you. Oh, God, yes. Oh, my God. You can expect communication coming in from this person soon. You don't see it, but trust me, it's coming. Happy family. Boom. Oh, do you see what I see? That is always my goal, for you to see what I see, for you to feel exactly what I feel. Is it even fair to end it like this? Um, what I mean, end it like this, it's not even 10 minutes. Let me see. If you want some kind of confirmation, let me see what deck I can do. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to use another deck. Maybe have another confirmation or two. But I'm really feeling this person is your person, very strong. Focusing on Aries, focusing on Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, or Venus. Or if you're cross-watcher, dealing with an Aries. Better appreciate them, cross-watcher. Okay, so here we go. 
here we go. The Aries, the queens that they are, the kings that they are. Virgo energy. Okay, coming in strong. This is not someone who will just speak. They really think about their words. Remember I said some of you could be having a blending of families coming together. So there is a young child involved. I said at a distance, right? So two and three planning. They could be um, planning to see you coming from a distance. They could be traveling for work. Something re with regards to their responsibilities. They could have children, child support, just responsibilities. This is an older individual who has responsibilities. They see you as a very loving individual, very feminine, very full of heart. You speak from the heart. Aries, you can actually have Pisces somewhere in your, in your placement. This young child is coming in again. You can actually have a young child, Aries. Doesn't have to be, but you could both have boys, have a blended family, or have a child together. But boom, here we go. Ten of Cups. Wait, uh, you have to forgive me. I, I look through the cards. Okay, basically, you're going to be happy with this person. Happy family. Ten of Cups. Fulfillment. There's joy. Ten of Pentacles. This is something solid. This person is going to feel like home to you. Yes, you. some of you may have a little bit of a sharp tongue, but just, you know, kind of watch how you convey things. But the love, the passion, mm, it's going to be playful. This person will know how to calm you down. This person may also know how to push your buttons too, but just to get a little rise out of you. But they see you for the queen that you are, the king that you are. This person will love you. This person is excellent with communication also. Again, very, very mature, very balanced, um, security, stable, sound, and this will complement who you are and everything that you've achieved and how you see things. So you may have different views on how you approach life and want stability, but when I tell you it'll interweave so beautifully together, that's where this Ten of Cups comes into play. That's where, that's where the happiness is. It doesn't get any better than this. It truly does. And I, I love this for you. I do. I really love this. Same card, different decks. Yeah, this is your person, honey. Don't worry, Aries. You're going to have a new love coming in. That is your person. I loved reading this for you. I love the messages that I conveyed. I hope you're as satisfied as I am in conveying this message to you. Um, let me know down in the comments when the time comes how this resonates or if you've already begun to meet someone where you feel a strong connection if you are very private believe me i respect that um you can always hit the like button and i'd love for you to subscribe if you aligned with the message and you like my style and reading that you're always welcome on my platform but above everything aries above everything i want you to stay well and stay blessed